Trained martial arts expert Paul Duffy specializes in Krav Maga. Based in Dublin, Paul teaches the most modern form of self-defense to all ages and levels. So Krav Maga is just Hebrew for contact combat. So really it is the, the most tried and tested system of self-defense that we have right now. What Krav Maga is is what we call a reality-based system. So what I mean by that is we're not so interested in ring fighting or scoring points or com competitive type fighting. Our primary objective is basically protecting our safety. It's to avoid uh, violent confrontation in the first place, uh, to escape, and if necessary, we do uh, deal with the physical end of things, but always our goal is to escape. So we don't have rules in the way other martial arts do, you know, we don't have uh, no-go areas, we'll say, you know, blows below the belt, all that kind of stuff. Our primary objective is always to end the confrontation as quickly and as efficiently as we can, and from there to, to, to make our way to safety. What's great, in my opinion, about Krav Maga is that it works off the body's natural uh, instinctive reflexes. So with, for example, a lot of martial arts, say for example you're being choked, um, they might teach some fancy defense where you lock in a hole and you subdue the attacker. And the problem with that is it's not very instinctive. Whereas Krav Maga, we look at well, what will somebody do? In the case of a choke, what will they do anyway? Well, their natural reaction might be to grab the hands. But we say, well, if that's what they're doing anyway, then why don't we build on that and have that as the, as the foundation for our, our defences? So all of our defences are based on natural, uh, instinctive body movements, which what's great about that is it, um, it makes the system very easy to learn, very natural and very fast to learn, and also very, very effective. So the benefits of learning Krav Maga is that you know you're learning the most tried and tested system of self-defence that there is right now. Um, but aside from that, of course, it's a great workout. We go very intense, it's cardiovascularly very intense, um, so you can usually see vast improvements in your, in your health and well-being as well. Aside from that, uh, one of the benefits that probably doesn't get enough emphasis is the sense of confidence that it gives to people. I think it's, it's crucial for some people to learn some form of self-defense. Now, I would advocate Krav Maga as the most effective form of self-defense. Knowing some sort of self-defense will affect your body language in a way that will make you much less attractive to a potential attacker. And that's been statistically and scientifically proven. There's a whole process known as the victim selection process, which basically comes down to your body language. And your body language we know is affected by your belief system. So if you go and learn some self-defense and you believe in its effectiveness, it will change you physiologically in such a way that you're a lot less likely to ever be attacked in the first place. Take, for example, a mugger. All things being equal, uh, who does he decide who, who he's going to mug? And by all things being equal, uh, let's say you're not carrying, blatantly carrying a laptop and an iPhone and all that, or you've just got a sea of people and you need to choose who it is that you're going to attack. Well, what he does actually is how you carry yourself sends off subtle um, cues, basically subconscious cues, very, very subtle things that will make you more or less attractive to certain types of predators. So it's exactly the same as we have in the animal kingdom, we have it in the, in the human world as well. So by changing your belief and by feeling that confidence that you do know how to defend yourself or that you have a fighting chance at least, it just makes you a lot less attractive. It takes you out of that attack funnel and makes you a lot less attractive to a potential attacker. So learning some sort of self-defense really as long as you believe in its effectiveness you know often you might think you've never had to use it but it has actually benefited you in ways that you didn't realize to me it's just a responsible thing for any uh, law-abiding citizen to do so for example you get a lot of people who invest their time and their energy into learning how to swim and it's it's not because they believe they're going to drown it's just because they want to be prepared in the off chance that something goes wrong while they're at sea but what I find strange is that not so many people are willing to invest that energy into learning how to protect themselves or learning what to do if something goes wrong on land, which is where they actually spend most of their time. So the majority of our students come here maybe have never been a victim of assault, but they recognize that it's a potential threat and they're just taking responsibility for themselves to make sure that they'll have a fighting chance. So a very common type of attack that a female might find herself in is a guy basically coming up from behind her, grabbing her from behind and pinning her arms. Maybe he'll try to lift her up, carry her off or take her somewhere. So the grab comes on. First thing, she makes a hook hand, five fingers, cross my hands. Now shifting your hips to expose my groin, she whips a few times, elbow, create the distance, two hands clasp, and she turns out 
counter strikes, back of the head, knee, and run down and escape. Basically what Rachel is going to do, she's going to hook her hands, she's going to control the, the grab with, with her left hand. From there, she shifts her hips to the side to expose um, Colin's groin. She whips into the groin a few times, creates some space between her, and, between her own body and Colin's body. From there, she uses her right hand to seal with the second hand to control both of his arms. She then turns her body out, and from there she can deliver some counter strikes, maybe a knee, some punches towards the back of the head. She pushes Colin away and she makes her escape. The kind of attack that you find yourself in is going to vary depending on the kind of attacker, the kind of situation you're in, the kind of environment. You could be in a bar, you could be in, a, uh, in the street, in your home and, and so forth. You could be with somebody, a child for example, that uh, limits your ability to escape. So what we do in our classes is we drill all of these different scenarios so that you can become familiar with them. So for that reason I strongly, strongly advise people to take regular Krav Maga, regular self-defense classes.